Hi, my name is Naomi, and I'm the creator of Two and or Four, who makes products for your two-legged loved ones and your four-legged loved ones. Um, today I'm going to be working on some of my bandanas. I have this really cute donut fabric, and um, on the other side, because my bandanas are reversible, I'm putting this. Now, what I love about this kind of fabric is it's multi-directional. Um, because of the way my bandanas are cut and made, um, when it's only one direction fabric, it does waste quite a bit of fabric. When it's two directional, up and down, um, I can turn my templates um, in different directions uh, and get more out of a fabric. So let's cut these out. All right, I am still working on trying to figure out the best cutting layouts. Um, I probably will look into getting uh, some kind of program or something to help me learn how to best lay out and get the most out of my fabric. So right now, because this is a directional print, it's going down this way, um, it does waste quite a bit of fabric. Okay. I have to be careful because the other side of this is at an angle so um, because of previous cuts so I have to make sure that I am actually on the fabric. What I really want, the one I'm going to be working on is medium which is my post, most popular size. Um, it runs next size anywhere between 14 to 16. Um, all right, so that's going to be about right. I'm going to cut this out. Um, I think this is, uh -huh. good thing I double checked, was about to cut it upside down. And this is why the good old measure twice, cut once, Yeah, that looks good. So comfortable. And no one seems to hold me like you do. Mm -hmm. You're so wonderful. A star could never shine as bright as you. Mm -hmm. I just love this fabric. All right. Oh, that's going to be so cute. All right. We will put this fabric aside. Even the dark days still see light Even the birds still sing at night Every word just comes out right When I'm with you, with you I feel so lucky I met you And I still um, can't believe that I get to See those eyes from more than tonight I swear you must have felt from the sky And I Lucky I met you. It's not magical. The way I feel when you walk in the room. Mm -hmm. When you walk in the room. It's not optional. It's not optional. How gravity just pulls me right to you. To you. Mm -hmm. Even the dark days still see light. Even the birds still sing at night. Every word just 
comes out right when I'm with you, with you. I feel so lucky I met you, and I still um, can't believe that I get to see those eyes from more than tonight. Swear you must have fell from the sky, and I feel um, so lucky I met you. Spend my whole life waiting for someone like you, baby. All these broken roses led to you I Spent my whole life waiting For someone like you, baby And all these broken roses led to you I feel So lucky I met you And I still Can't believe that I get to See those eyes from more than tonight I Swear you must have fell from the sky I met you. All right, we're gonna go sew this. All right, we're at the sewing machine. I have white thread. I don't need this, but I wanted to show you um, when you want to sew straight and you don't have a large uh, magnet to help guide you. Um, you could just use a piece of painter's tape and put it down. What you want to do is you want to make sure you have it like an inch or two in front of the presser foot um, because that's really where you want to start lining up your fabric. By the time it gets to the presser foot, um, it should already be uh, lined up because otherwise you're going to have a problem um, getting it right. So my machine, I can preset stitches and I have one for cotton fabric. It will um, reverse at the beginning and do the stitching to, to lock it in. Um, if you don't, you know, uh, most of you don't have that, you just go in reverse and come back. Um, like I have mine set to do four stitches. All right, so we'll get started. I am lining it up at the edge of my presser foot. All right, when you get to the point, you want your needle down and you pivot and you see if it's at the right spot. If it isn't, you go back. So I, if it weren't at the right spot, I'd put it back and I'd do another stitch and then I would try it again, but I'm exactly where I need to be. All right, I want to turn. I make sure my needle is down. And I do a 3 8 seam at the ends because on the open end, which I'll use to turn, I will um, fold in 3 8 of an inch seam. So I do the same on the other side. So this is about a um, little more than an eighth, but less than a quarter inch 
stitch or one um, centimeter. Okay, I'm at the end. My machine, again, when I press, will go back and forth. All right, then I take it and I trim off the tip and I trim off the corners and a little bit of the 3 8 um, I don't really need to, but I do it uh, just for the turning purposes to make it um, less bulky. All right, I will do that. So I made this tool to help me turn things, um, and it works perfectly for my bandanas. And um, I'll try to show you how I do it. All right, so what I do is this is basically a wood base that I just bought at um, one of the craft stores. Don't remember if it was Joann's or Hobby Lobby or whatever. And then a dowel and then a bead um, of a wooden bead that is slightly bigger than the dowel and um, though I think it could be the same size and then I sunk the screw in just a little bit on the top so it wouldn't catch on anything so what I do is the end that's sewn I just push it in a little and then I put it on and then I just work my way down, pulling the fabric down. I'm doing this slowly. Usually I do it a lot faster, but I want you to see. Um, and I just keep pulling the fabric down until we come out on the other side. And it starts turning. And then I just pull it off. And I just finish turning it out. All right, then I'll use a um, turn tool. If you don't have a turn tool, which I only got a turn tool uh, this year. Um, I use a chopstick and it works great. <laughs> I will put it in there. I'll go to the other corner and push out the edges being careful not to break my stitching not to poke a hole in it all right and then I'll just kind of run it along I will um, run it along the edge and I make sure to poke out the center point as best as I can. Again, being careful not to push so hard that I break through. And then we're going to iron it. So I have my iron at the cotton setting because all my bandanas are 100% cotton. And all I do is I go around the edges and I roll forward towards me and then back just to try to get a crisp edge and I'll even pick it up and I'll kind of twirl it, you know, um, back and forth and get a nice clean edge that way. And I do this before I press it. And I did the inside, now I'll do the outside. All right, and then I'll just iron it, making sure that my edges 
you know, are out. Uh, and you see this, my, went right back in, so I'll get my chopstick again and push it back out. Or here, I'll use the turning tool. I do love the turning tool. There we go. I really want to make sure that I try to get as clean of an edge there as I can. And I'll start on the outside and I'll press. Sorry, my battery died. All right, so I will just roll and then start pressing. Then I'll do the other side again, rolling, trying to get as clean of an edge as I can, and press. And then I'll do the inside. All right, then what I do is on the open edge, I mark off 3 eighths of an inch um, so that I can fold in the edge so that I can top stitch it. All right, and so I've marked, and now I just take it and I fold in on that mark all the way around. All right, and then I will quickly go and iron that edge. And then we'll sew it. All right, that edge that we just pressed, I'm gonna sew as close to the edge as possible. All right, so now my edge is closed. I just trim the little threads. All right. And then I use three quarter inch Velcro, which I've had pre-cut and that just saves so much time. And three inches really it seems a nice good amount to be able to get a good fit on your pet. All right, so I take the loop side, which is the soft fuzzy side, and I put it on the same side as my label, but underneath. And I will just put a clip there just to hold it in place. And then the hook side, which is the rough side, goes on the other side, but on the top. You have to make sure you have one on top and one on the bottom, otherwise the Velcro won't work. All my bandanas and most of my bibs for babies are reversible. All right, and then I just go to my machine and 
I sew it in place. All right, that's one side. And then we'll go do the other side. And that's it. And this is how it closes. And that's one side. And then this is the other side. Now I'm debating whether to put, offer a name on here, but I don't know if it's gonna be too busy. Um, let me know what you think. And also I probably, would have to do it in like black so that it would show up. Um, but I'm just not sure that it's just not too busy. And that's it.